hi guys, Prince here again for Crenovated. So today I'm going to run through the quick um, installation guide for the Total Link A3002RU wireless router. So um, this is a dual band router which I got recently. It's on a low um, budget. So set up, make sure your router is hooked up to your internet. Then you pick um, a, one, a LAN port to connect to your laptop. So once your laptop is connected um, to the router, you go to your web browser and type in uh, the default IP to enter the um, router's web interface. So to do that, just type your um, the IP address, which is 192.168.1.1. So this will take us to the wireless router to web um, interface, which we have here. So to get started um, your connection status is your um this um the connection from your isp you can ask that um ask them for the um, internet settings which for me it's a dhcp client so depending on your isp settings you can do that here it might be uh, if you want to configure for a static ip or pppoe or pptp or the l2 tp so depending on what your um, internet settings is that's what you use here for my now leave it as dhcp so for the 5g wireless settings you can input your uh, whatever name you want for it to display here so let me just type in from lan 5 then you put in your password so let me just use our uh, one two three four five six seven eight nine then for your 2.4 g wireless settings i call this let me just call this homeland then you can put in your password so so far i'll use this too so once you're that, done with that you apply so this will save uh, your changes and reset up the wireless router So just wait for that to finish setup. So once that is that, um, it will reboot the browser, and you can do whatever um, customization you want to the router. So, so this is done. My one port is connected to my internet, my LAN is connected to the PC. So I have this here, then you can do whatever settings you want here if, if you really know what you're doing. So you can just go through each tab and see what's there and probably change what you don't want from here. So, okay, for, for this router, if we have a USB share whereby you can put files on your USB drive plug it to the router and everybody on your network can have access to it so to so set this up you go to your usb share settings then you have to enable samba so when you click this then you can give it a name so i'll call this homeland share then you give it a password to so let me still put this then you apply So you wait for that to boot up too. So once that is done, we log in again. So we are done. We are done here. So any other thing you would want to set up or based on your preference, you can always do that here. So we have our 2.4G settings here. We 
have a 5G setting. So depending on your you know preference, you can always come to do that here. So thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe. Bye.